wood and look as fresh as yesterday's dog bones. The structure was porous and the fossils were not mineralized. On Bylot Island, 1987, they found the lower jaw of a duckbill dinosaur that was in fresh condition. Joe Taylor, who does a lot of digging for dinosaurs in Texas, in uh, Crosby, Texas, outside of Lubbock, has discovered many times, he said he finds dinosaur bones that are not fossilized. So the idea that dinosaurs lived millions of years ago is, is silly. Um, so, next question. If there really was a flood, where are all the human bones? People say, oh, if the world was totally destroyed, they ought to find millions of human fossils. Well, pr about 4,000 human remains have been found, according to Marvin Lubinow, who's one of the smartest guys I know on the topic of uh, uh, human ancestors. You know, his book, Bones of Contention, is excellent from a Christian perspective on uh, all the so-called cavemen that they're finding. Many of the f human remains, even those are very fragmentary, just one bone or just a few bones, but let's assume 4,000 human remains have been found, just to pick a number. I think when God made the earth uh, 6,000 years ago, it was full of plants, full of animals, and only two people. 4,400 years later, when the flood came, 1,600 years later, when the flood came, the world is still full of plants and still full of animals and still not full of people. I'm not sure what the population was. I would pick a number clear out of the clear blue sky and say, let's assume there was a billion people at the time of the flood. Could may have been a lot more. If they had 100 kids per family, the population's